for focusing on Japan's new nuclear new stress test system on this week's Nuclear Watch. We'll be looking at the process and the concerns it's raising. And here's a look at the computer simulations engineers ran on reactors 3 and 4 at the OE plant. Based on this data, they concluded the reactors are ready to go back online. Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency members held a panel discussion last week to analyze the findings. Some people who have doubts about the stress test process demanded sit in, demanded to sit in in the reading. Nisa turned them away. Then, one of its panel members walked out on the discussion. I doubt the safety review process is any different from how it was in the past, before the accident at Fukushima Daiichi. Nisa then ended up approving the stress test results on the OE plant reactors. A team of experts from the International Atomic Energy Agency is now reviewing the entire stress test methodology. Nisa will get a report from the IAEA by the end of this month. Then, it will finalize its conclusions on the two reactors. After that, the government will consult with people who live in the areas surrounding the OE plant. It will try to get their approval to restart the reactors. Then, it will make its final decision. We wanted to find out why some people in Japan don't have faith in the government's approach to nuclear safety and why they say this stress test system is flawed. So we asked NHK World's commentator Noriyuki Mizno to explain it all to us. He spoke in Japanese, but will provide simultaneous interpretation. Conflict at the panel discussion was caused by NISA's decisions to shut the anti-nuclear citizens out of the room, but underneath there's a public distrust in the government. Stress tests check the nuclear power plant's margin of resistance to greater than expected disasters such as tsunami before the reactor's cores are damaged. But there's a growing mistrust of the validity of the tests as a measure that the government should use to decide whether or not to restart the nuclear power plant. Most of the assumptions used in the tests are based on the safety standards designed before the March 11th disaster, which proved the standards were not relevant. If they adopt stricter standards in the future, even if the facilities are pronounced safe based on the old safety safe standards, it would be only natural for people to be unwilling to accept that. And that is why there is a view that the tests are being conducted with a foregone conclusion to restart the nuclear power plants. Many nuclear power plant operators claim they are taking emergency safety measures in response to the Fukushima accidents by putting power supply vehicles and firefighting pumps in place at the facilities, but they are not more than makeshift measures. There is no doubt it will take time to entirely rewrite the current nuclear safety regulations. But the committee appointed by the government to probe into the causes of the Fukushima accident has released the interim report last month, and I think the government needs to work on regaining public trust by drafting the tentative safety standards based on the lessons shown in that report. The IAEA team will only examine whether the procedures involving the stress tests are appropriate or not. They're not going to decide if the nuclear facilities, facilities are fit to restart operation. In fact, James Lyons, the IAEA team leader, told the reporters that it's up to the Japanese government to decide whether or not to restart the power plants. On Thursday, the number two reactor at the Chugoku Electric Power Company's Shimane nuclear power plant will shut down for periodic inspections, leaving 51 out of all 54 nuclear power plants in Japan into idle. And there's a concern for the power shortage. The government wants to get some nuclear facilities restarted before spring, when all nuclear power plants in Japan are due to shut down for regular checkups. They say Prime Minister Noda will make the final political decisions on that matter. However, it looks difficult for the government to have its way, since the local residents near Oi nuclear power plants say they will not let the facilities restart. Given a growing public opposition, the government needs to make its case on the tests, including if they will continue to use the current tests as a measure to decide whether or not to restart the facilities.